All right, what is going on guys? I'm gonna do a review today on my 15% window tint. And um, you know, if that's too dark for some of you guys or you know, not dark enough, you know, how I deal with the cops with it, you know, is it just overall worth getting 15% tint? Um, now I will start off by saying, if you were looking to get tint to keep your car cooler, um, I haven't really noticed that it keeps my car cooler. Um, I do. I have a. I have like a uh, like a heat. Uh, not heat gun. I guess it'd be like a heat gun. But I have like a like a thermometer, like one of those like digital thermometers um, that like measures the heat somewhere. I think what I'll do is maybe I'll try to do like a uh, a test on a tinted car with no tints, and then see if it's you know cooler at all. Um, but I mean, honestly, I haven't really noticed that it keeps my car that much cooler. If it does, it's only a couple of degrees. It's something really minor. It doesn't even really, you know, affect it really that much. It's not like it's, you know, don't really buy it for that. Um, now, if you're looking to get tint for the look, yes, it definitely improves the look without a doubt, at least in my opinion. I think my car looks so much more sleek now. Definitely gives it a much more badass appearance in my opinion but to each his own some people don't like tints that's perfectly respectable you know whatever you want to do but um i'm sure a lot of you guys are asking you know how how is it like dealing with the cops do i get pulled over a lot um not every state is it illegal to have front tints like i have um, i know some states is legal to have tin up front so um this question is going to pertain to you but if you do live in a state that front tint is illegal to have, um, I can say, say for me, where I live, at least in New Jersey, um, I have not been pulled over once for it. Um, I pass cops all the time. Have not been pulled over once. Um, I don't know, cops around here, I guess, really just don't care. I'm sure it also has to do with the vehicle, too. Because uh, I have a friend that has, uh, well had it doesn't have any have anymore but he had tints on his car and uh he got pulled over quite a few times not like crazy amount um got pulled over about four times i think for tints after the fourth time he's like i'm just taking them off he's like i just don't want to deal with it anymore um but he had it on there for two years or something like that i don't know he had it on there for a decent amount of time i, I don't really know he bought the car with the tints on there so but um, I haven't really had any problems with the cops, which is uh, I'm I'm really thankful for. I was that's that's the main reason why I didn't get tints for the absolute longest time was because I didn't feel like paying tint tickets. But you know, eventually I was like, you know what? Like, if I get tint tickets, whatever, I'll just pay for them. They're not that expensive. I think they're like fifty bucks or like forty something bucks. So I was like, you know what? Even it's like forty bucks every couple months or something. I'm I'm paying on them, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, now one thing you, that you don't want to do if you have tints, I would say, is don't also tint, um, this right here. Don't get like a tinted license plate cover, because once you do that, then you're just a real magnet for cops, and you're definitely going to get pulled over. Um, because I was going to get the tinted license plate cover on it, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to, because I'm probably going to be getting pulled over left or right. So, I'm kind of glad I didn't do that, but actual just tints on the car. I have not been pulled over at all because of that. Actually, I haven't been pulled over at all since I've had the tins. Um, so it's not even like I've been pulled over at all. It's not like that like attracted a cop towards me or whatever, and he gave me a ticket for something else. I haven't been pulled over since I've even had the tins. So that's pretty good there. Um, now visibility. Visibility is perfectly fine during the day. If you look. You can see out the windows all perfectly fine. I mean, if you look, clearly there's a difference. You can see tint and non-tint there, okay? But actual, like this is visibility with the tint, okay? That's your visibility with tint. Roll the windows down. Now, if you look, visibility is really about the same. Obviously, it improves, 
like it's more clear now obviously but actually during the day um 15 percent tint like here i'll try to like if you look see how you know it gets a little bit darker it's literally like wearing a pair of sunglasses oh <clears throat> sorry it's like wearing a pair of sunglasses that's really what it is during the day um roll these up there we go but uh so visibility is perfectly fine during the day and that's not going to be an issue for you um if you are going to have an issue it's definitely going to be at nighttime. now i'm going to try to film this I'll, i'm going to this is you know the, obviously this is like i don't even know what time it is it's like 11 o'clock in the afternoon 12 o'clock i think it's 12 o'clock but uh tonight i'm going to do a video on what it's like to have 50 percent tint at night i'm going to just i'll put these two videos together but um nighttime's a different story it, it gets it's pretty dark at nighttime i mean imagine wearing sunglasses at night um and that's i mean that's with 15 percent I, I honestly i wanted to get like straight like dark tint like i wanted it really dark but um i you know i don't want to lose my drivability of the car either uh, like at nighttime my car looks really nice because like my tint just gets like so dark like right here it actually looks like extremely dark at least like i don't know if you, the camera's gonna pick it up but right where i'm standing like it's like straight black i can't i can barely even see in so certain angles it gets really dark and then other angles it like lightens up but at nighttime it's it's a whole different story it's definitely uh i don't want to say you have no visibility but like it's it's a lot harder to see uh especially like people on bikes you can't really see stuff like that it's I don't want to say to, to the point where it's like dangerous because like you just got to be more observant but if you're not observant then yeah it could definitely be a dangerous situation um without a doubt um if you have lighting behind you like there's like a headlight behind you or uh you know street lights whatever you could generally see behind you as long as there's some type of light behind you you're fine but if there's no light at all let's say if you're driving down like a dirt like it's not a dirt road but like it's just a, a like a like a back road or something where there's no lighting um, you're not going to see anything behind you. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Unless like you reverse when you like reverse, you have your reverse lights, you know, it, you can still see a little bit cause you have your reverse lights. So it definitely hurts the visibility at nighttime, you know, without a doubt. Um, but I don't think it's to the point where it's not usable or it's like, it's terribly bad. It's something that you can definitely get used to. At least I did. So I, I think overall 15% tint is a really good balance of like dark and like late enough where you can still drive the car at night and it's still like a functioning functioning car you know what i mean like i want this car to function like i like that's a, that's a reason why i kind of got a crampic because i want a car that's reliable you know somewhat quick they're not really that fast but somewhat quick you know rear wheel drive i just wanted something that's like different something that stands out just you know what i mean like something that just not like some typical Toyota Corolla or something, you know what I mean? I just wanted something that was different and reliable and something that I could like use for, for like whatever, like whatever I need it for, I can use it. And for the most part, I mean, I could pretty much use this for whatever. Uh, I mean, I can't tow. I mean, I could tow, I don't have a hitch, but I can't really tow with it because I don't have that. But if I wanted to, I could. Um, like I said, I've been down dirt roads and stuff like that. Uh, I've done a little off-roading in it, not much, like few like, you know, sandier type trails and i this car let's just say this car doesn't like sand at all it's this car isn't really that good when it comes to like soft sand dirt hard dirt even like mud like a little bit of mud this car is really not too bad as long as you just keep it keep the throttle on it but uh yeah as soon as you go in sand you're just doomed but that that's a whole that's completely all topic but overall i'd say 15 percent tint at least for me because i was like i said i didn't want to get it for the longest time because i don't want to pay tint tickets and I don't want to know how I was going to be driving at nighttime with it. So, you know, if you got the same questions as me, um, I'll say right now that I actually, I got used to it pretty quick. And I haven't been ticketed. And I, I'm actually really glad that I ended up getting tents. I, I'm really glad that I ended up doing it. Uh, I'm a little upset that it's like my tents are all messed up, which I made in my other video. But I'll get that taken care of. Um, like I said, it, it's it just it's more of an inconvenience now, which I don't want to have to do but i mean it is what it is nothing i can do about it besides just try to get it resolved so yeah this is gonna be the first part of the video 
at day, I mean, there's not really too much to show during the day. I mean, obviously you guys know tints are fine during the day. It's mainly just dealing with cops. And like I said, I haven't really been, I haven't been pulled over at all on it. And uh, at least where I live, it has not been an issue whatsoever. So, all right. I guess well, I'll see you part. I'll see you guys in the uh, second part of the video later tonight. Hopefully, <laughs> probably going to be a garbage video, honestly, because GoPros do not shoot well in low light. But we'll try. We'll see if we can try to get a decent video out of it. So I'll see you guys later tonight. All right, part two of the video. Probably going to be really uh, crappy, considering uh, GoPros are really bad at night. Tried going through the settings to see if. Uh, if there's any way I can improve the low light, there is like a low light setting, but we're currently on it right now, and as you can tell, it's still complete garbage. So, whatever. We'll just try to do the best we can here with the video. But, I'll try to show you. It's probably not going to be a good video at all, at least as part of it. But if you look, you can't really see much out the windows, right? Okay, clearly it's all just pitch black in here. I mean, you can kind of see some lights down there, like some street lights through the, the you know, uh, my rear window. But if you look, see, here's a light here you can see out. You can see the street, trees, you know, whatever. You see the mailbox there. Now, if you roll the window down, if I can get my key, you will see a difference. You ready? Now, I know it's completely crappy. I mean, it doesn't look much better, but if you look, you can see how it just like goes to complete, like pitch black. Now, granted, it's not pitch black. I can see out this window, but you can tell like the level of darkness, how much darker it gets. You know what I mean? Like just how dark it is. It's definitely uh, pretty noticeable. It's literally like wearing sunglasses at night. So if you want to know what it's like to have tints, you know, on your car, at least 15%. Wear your sunglasses at nighttime. That's pretty much what it's like. But if you look, let's see, we'll roll this down. Let's see, I mean, you can at least see the sidewalk now. I know, like I said, it's GoPro's trash at nighttime. But if you look, you can see the sidewalk now. Now it's gone. You know what I mean? The only thing you really see is the light, which is what I was saying. At nighttime, you could pick up on light. I mean, I can see the sidewalk and everything because there's some light here. I had the light from the, you know, the light up there. But, um, you know, generally, if there's no lighting, you're you're not going to see. So that's, that's what it's like. I mean, that's not really what it's like. I, I wish I could make a better video. The GoPro is terrible at nighttime. But, I mean, as you can see, the tints definitely do make it harder to see at nighttime. Um, is it absolutely terrible? No, but, um, I mean, I would say it can pose a safety issue because there's times where, like, honestly, I can't really see when I'm turning. And there could very well be someone on a bike or something, and I, I couldn't see him. Um, there's been a few times where, you know, I'm making a turn and I can't really see what's to the right of me. You know, if I'm making a right or left turn, I can't really see. I mean, obviously, there's a car. I'd be able to see a car. I see its headlights. Um... But if it was like someone on a bike or just someone walking, you know, there might have been a few times where, you know, it's possible I could have hit somebody. I mean, obviously I didn't hit anyone, but, you know, it raised the problem of, you know, me possibly hitting somebody. Because, like I said, you can't really see too much. Um, it all really just depends on the lighting. Like, right now we actually have okay lighting because we had the lamppost right there. No, the street light, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, if that wasn't there, if it was, like, darker... I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't really, really see too much. And you even wouldn't be able to see anything at all through the GoPro. My God, forget about it. But overall, like having tint on the car, I think it's worth it. Um, at least for me in my circumstance. Uh, meaning like, I don't know, I don't really get pulled over in this car. But I also have a feeling it's kind of because of this car. If I had like something else. Like, say I have, like, a Mustang or something on the lines of that, like a, you know, whatever, more of, like, a tuner or, like, a muscle car or something like that, like, more of, like, a sportier car, um, I feel like I would definitely get pulled over more, or at least I'm more prone to getting pulled over. Um, I feel like owning this car, I'm kind of, like, in the clear with tints, 
Um, at least that's how I feel about it. Because like I said, I haven't been pulled over with them on. So it kind of seems that way. Um, but like I said earlier, if you if you are looking to get tints for like to keep your car cooler, it's not really worth it. I haven't noticed anything. If it is, it's only a couple degrees cooler at best. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much about it. I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know what else I could do. I mean, I can't really show you what it's like to have tint at nighttime. It's you know, like I said, just the GoPro is just so bad in low light. It's just it's like useless at nighttime. But I mean, you can kind of tell. You know, you can see when you put the window down, you can at least see. As at least when you put it up, it just turns completely pitch black. It obviously it's not that dramatic um, when you're driving the car or when you're, you're actually physically in it. But, I mean, you can still kind of get a, like an idea what it's like to, uh, you know, deal with the, the tints at nighttime. So, <sighs> I guess that's it. We'll wrap it up here. So a little video here. I currently got another video that I'm, I'm doing. Uh, I did it today. I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to get it up. Uh, probably before this video. I don't know which one's gonna be up first. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm having a little bit of an issue with it. So I don't know if he's gonna end up going up. So we'll see. But that's it, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video later on.